it's time to expand your palate at the Northeast Wisconsin Craft Beer Festival. It is presented by Festival Foods, and we're going to tap into the details with Lauren Tule. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is just a sampling, the tip of the <laughs> iceberg yes. from what we have heard. A lot of beer on tap. Yes, so I am a beer girl, so this is one of my mm. favorite events of the year. Um, so the Northeast Wisconsin Craft Beer Festival, um, it's held at Shopco Hall. Um, it's this Saturday, so it's coming up, but yeah. it's the perfect time because we're getting into more of those fall mm. beers. Mm -hmm. the Oktoberfest, the dark beers, but really there's something for everybody at this event. What qualifies beer as a craft beer? Really anything that's made um, in smaller... Smaller batches? Smaller batches, but okay. there are more than just craft beers available at the Craft Beer Festival, so we'll find um, some of the beers from the larger um, breweries as well, like Miller Coors, things oh. like that. Um, so really there's a smattering for everybody and there's also beyond just beer options, which is really nice. Um, so if you're like, oh, I'm not really a huge beer fan, um, there's a lot of samplings for the ciders, the hard uh -huh. sodas, the hard seltzers, okay. there's wine. Mm. So really it goes way beyond just craft beer. So we're going to get a little glass. That's yes. kind of the first step, right? And then we just make our way around the room and see what we like. Yeah, so it's held at Chapco Hall, which is a pretty large mm -hmm. venue. Um, and there are over 200 beers that are going to be Whoa. sampled, over 50 breweries that are going to be there. Um, so it's definitely one of the larger events in the area. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, yeah, so you just get a small little sampling glass, and then you're kind of just free to go. Um, so you can get little samples here and there, two-ounce samples. So they're pretty small, which is good. So you can try yeah. lots of different things. And um, though it's nice, too, if you're like, oh, you try it, you don't like it, you can dump it out. Oh, um, okay. So there are areas where you can dump it out so you're not really committed to having to drink um, different things. Well, let's talk a little bit about what you've brought here this morning because while there are beers from all over the country represented at the festival, local is also represented well. Yes, yeah, definitely. So I brought some of the um, new beers this year that are going to be at the event. Um, so Still Link this summer came out with their Guava Juice IPA, yeah. um, which is a session IPA, which means it's a little bit lower in alcohol. All right, pop it open. Um, oh. we got to pour one. Yes. All right. Have a have a taste. Says the pregnant lady. Right. <laughs> Says the one who's not going to be drinking it. That's okay. To smell it. Like I said, I'm willing to sacrifice when it comes to this, Ooh, Malene. It does, does smell, smell good. Oh, yeah, it, it does really smell really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Yep. Fresh. Very fresh. Okay, so guava IPA from Stomach. Um, yes. Does this have coffee in it? Oh, yes. You're so going to like that. This is a cold press black um, from Bent Paddle, which is in Duluth, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, so we expand beyond Wisconsin at the event. Um, but this is also a very nice winter, fall beer. We get more to those darker beers, which I personally mm -hmm. love. Um, and also this time of year, we have our Oktoberfest beer. So um, this is a new one from Anape. Um, this is their Oktoberfest for this mm, year. Yeah. So lots of Oktoberfest. It's almost like every brewery. Okay. has their own Oktoberfest, which is really fun. Now, is there special uh, if you want to be the designated driver? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, of course. So there are designated driver tickets available as well. Um, and then there's also two different sets of tickets. You can get the general admission, which you can get yeah. there at 6, um, and sample for a couple hours. Um, and then at 5 o'clock, if you want to get there early, there are something called first call tickets, mm -hmm. which are limited to just 400. Okay. Um, so you get to go there kind of before beat the crowds. But there's a lot of people that attend this event, which is really awesome. Yeah. It's really fun. Um, there are different snacks. Um, so it's not just beer. There is some food as well, which is good to kind of <laughs> yeah, mix in with all the different drinks. Um, but overall, really fun event and just a great opportunity to try some different beers that maybe you haven't tried before. Yeah. And my personal tip, bring your smartphone, take a picture of the label, because the next time you're shopping at festival, then you can look for it on the shelves. Because I can never remember yes. which ones I tried and like. Yep. So snap a picture, right. easiest way to go. Well, once you're done with that, you got to snap a picture oh, okay, of this. You're going right. to like Northeast it. Northeast Wisconsin Craft Beer <laughs> Festival. Two months and counting for me to drink. Great. Right? Right. <laughs> October 6th, though, is when you can sample from 6 to 9. And the first call starts at 5. It's at Shopco Hall. But for tickets, you can head to RushCenter.com. Or head to the Green Bay and the Pier Festival food stores to pick up your tickets. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, thank you.